This is a PreSonus Fire Studio Mobile and the light is blue which means it's synced with the computer. Um, if you're having trouble with it not syncing um, and you've tried uh, reinstalling the drivers and, and going through that intense process to delete the files off your computer and everything, um, this might help you out. I have uh, a Mac and I'm running the latest version of Sierra. It's 10.12.6 um, and Every time I update to the latest version of OSX, the Fire Studio doesn't want to sync with the computer again. Um, usually it's having to do with the driver. I have to uninstall uh, the universal control software, this, what, yeah, this thing right here, um, and then reinstall it, and that usually fixes it. Um, but in this case, it didn't. I did all that. I walked through the long process, and it didn't fix it. Um, so I went through tech support and they were kind of just, you know, going through the basics and we weren't figuring it out. Um, so finally I came in to Cubase just kind of poking around and found this. Um, underneath VST System Audio, this is under device setup by the way, um, we'll list the unit. And right here where it's got clock source, mine had defaulted back to SPDIF. I don't know why, but it's just something to do with this updating, um, the Mac software that did that conveniently <laughs> and it didn't work it wouldn't sync I couldn't listen to anything I couldn't record anything and I had to run off of my uh, output from my computer it was awesomely horrible <laughs> anyway um, so if you were just coming here and check your clock source and make sure that uh, internal is selected so that the clock source is the presonus um, hopefully that is your issue and that will fix it and get you up and making music again. All right, bye.